It's happening. It's finally happening. After two long months, it is finally happening, you guys. It's official, it's official. Oh, Sam, I found a truck. We are going to get a truck by, what's today? Like today is Monday. By next week, we should be back in truck business. You guys, I've been so restless. Finally, the year that I have a mayor that I could ride on trails. We didn't have a truck, but now is time. We are back in business. I'm excited. And Sophia is hugging her girl. No, you're not allowed to show on me. Oh, I accidentally. So, Sylvie's been hanging out with a whole, yeah, we won't show him, but Sylvie's been. He randomly added me. Randomly added her. He just Where? randomly added her. Oh, that's a cute photo of Will. Sophie has been hanging out with boys a lot lately. Remember yeah. last year? Remember last year when we caught you talking to a boy on, on, on social media one time? That was a person I'm not friends with anymore. Yeah, and we're like. Holy heck, how did this happen? And now she's just a regular. This, this is Bastie, don't worry. She's, she's just a regular boy talking girl now. Anyway, welcome to today's video. There's a phone holder. Yeah, there's a phone, a phone holder. Tell me your pony's chubby without telling me your pony's chubby. <laughs> that would be good for that. Anyway, we're just waiting for, on Gabby. Gabber-dabber. Gabber-dabber. Can you hold your ponies? My pony? Yeah. She doesn't need to be held. She doesn't need to be helded. Uh, gilded. Held it. It's held. I'm just so freaking excited. I'm just so excited, you guys. Like, I've been, this summer has been, I've been so restless. Like, I don't know. It's hard. Horses are hard. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys. A bigger phone holder. A bigger phone holder. Yeah. I don't know. I feel safer with the mini. So, I wanted to tell you guys that I did post my new channel trailer the other day, like last night I think actually. So I posted the channel trailer. I had so much fun making that. I, we've been wanting to do one for so long. Like we have planned to make one for so long, but every time we'd like try and think of a way to do it, I would lose inspiration. I, I could never figure out a way that I wanted to make it that made sense to us and to me. And so anyways, the beast is here. Oh, the beast is here. But anyways, I got some inspiration from a friend and then all, it all just started to fall together and it was so fun to make because I wanted our channel trailer to represent exactly who we are. We are. I wanted okay. it to represent the fact that we aren't perfect and that we're not type A personalities, that we're like relaxed people flying by the seat of our pants. And I wanted it to reflect the fact that we're doing our best, enjoying our journey, and learning every single step of the way. And I wanted it to reflect the fact that we love our community and that we pay attention to so many things that everybody says. And I know that there's been this misconception that we don't listen to people, but that's so wrong. We listen to so many people and have taken so much advice over the years. I think where it gets lost in translation is that we always take advice from people that make sense to us. People who share same core values or advice given that will work for us. And and when we don't take advice that for things that don't work for us, it's almost always based on people giving us advice based on situations that are accurate, like, like telling us to do stuff that doesn't make sense to us and doesn't reflect who we are as people. Or, and lots of times they make those suggestions based on misinformation or stuff that they don't even know about us and they can't fully ever understand why we don't choose the things that they think we should choose and it's not their fault obviously but i wanted it also to reflect the fact that we are unable to always share every single thing with people that under no circumstances am i ever going to try ever going to sh put anybody in any of our vid videos share them in a negative way so even like there's so many things behind the scenes that people don't see that we actually do follow their advice and they just think that we don't because they don't share things that might make other people in our general lives offended, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain. I'm not good at explaining, but 
I made a channel trailer that I'm proud of. I love, I think it represents who we are in such a strong way. It was not a reaction to anything. It was just that God presented it to me at the exact right time and how to do it. And I, it was amazing for me. I love it. I'm glad that we have it up there explaining who we are. You wanna go on a scavenger hunt? Let's go on a this was there and I don't think we have any here. here. In the back, we have it in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know that horses go are such there, good? Penny is such a good go guard there. dog. Let's go down there. Yeah, in a minute. Let's put the horses out. She's telling me she wants to go out. So let's put the horses out. Come on, Gabber Dabber. Gabby does not like when I call her that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's one of the few joys of being a parent. Anyways, welcome to today. Welcome to happiness. Welcome to excitement. Welcome to the beginning of our summer, even though it's our summer is almost over because we are gonna be going on trails. And you know what's so ironic though? I finally have a horse that can go on trails and nobody else really does. Like I wanna tell him a bunch of stuff. Sophie doesn't have a horse. Trails and I don't like trails. But you would like the kind of trails we're going on. No cars, no people, just like paths. Paths made, no trees hanging down, just like a nice okay, can gentle. I, can I show you okay, something? Okay, yeah, let's them? go back there Fun for facts better. About my phone. All right, so I know this is a lot of talking, <laughs> but Sophie needs to share. So if I drop my phone, it bounces. Okay, you guys need to hear this. This is important stuff. I would drop it right now, but it's all dusty. And then, so I drop my phone a lot. That's why I have a case that pops out. So you should get that kind of case because I drop my phone like a million times a day, and there's no scratches on it. Okay. And yeah, that's all. That's all. That's all. Thanks that's all. for sharing, Sophie. Oh, and if you put your phone on airplane mode and then chuck it out the window, it does not fly. Yes, that's an important one. Yes. <laughs> the penny is literally this huge guard horse. If anything happens, she calls out. Like when Sam leaves in the morning, she starts letting us know. Like Sam's leaving. Oh, happiness in the hood. They're letting it squeal. No squealing yet. <laughs> yet. Pacino's on the prowl. And then now Willow. She's like, oh no, you better get away from my girl. No, Willow's like, it's coming to squeal. Come and on. now, the troublemaker. See how they go around the weeds though? Oh. Wow. It's because she doesn't want to run straight through. And he's off. He's like, oh no, I forgot. I need a drink. <laughs> Anyway, it is true. Penny is like a rooster. Like she alerts us to every single thing that happens. Every single thing. Like if Penny starts making noise down in the barn, I know something's happening. So then I always come down and check. I always come and check, always. And she's so reliable. Like I love having her. She's, she is, she is such a good leader of a horse. She's such a good horse. Like, that's what's so weird is when you buy a horse, you don't ever really know them for like so long. They have to fit in, you have to fit in, you have to learn each other, and then you see what kind of horse you got. No, I already have a bucket. Yeah, I know, but we're gonna fill up two buckets. Go get a bucket, sister. So uh, I have uh, been finishing ordering all of our curriculum stuff online, and because it's almost school time. Time for school to start really soon. Comment below if you guys actually want to see like a curriculum haul. I don't even know if I've ever done one. Have I ever done one? I don't think I've ever done one on our channel, to be honest. But let me know if you guys want to see a curriculum um, haul video, because I can do that. It's just all the stuff that I order every year, like all the consumable stuff and then our actual curriculum. This year we're doing, um, a new curriculum that we haven't done before. This is Rue the Rooster. Rue the Rooster. That's my little baby. Yeah, Rue. So anyways, let me know in the comments if you want to see it. I'll probably video it anyways, just because it takes so much time to like plan out school and plan out your curriculum and like study curriculum and try and figure out what you want to do each year and talk to the girls and see what they want to do each year. And that's one of the reasons I love homeschool is because you get to choose what you study almost. And then like trying to find things that suit what you want to study. It's super fun, super interesting, makes life fun. Um, and I spent so much time this summer already like figuring out our curriculum for the year. 
the books that we're gonna read and stuff. So let me know if it is something you're interested in seeing. Sophie found a mini. There's a mini here and she wants it so bad. What? Oh, I thought you said you want to video me. <laughs> I think so. All right, we got one more. Boy. So I forgot to mention that we have a show this weekend. Gabby's showing. Sophie's showing. Are you showing? Yep. Shay's showing. Are you and Shay showing in the same division? Are you and Shay showing in the same division? No. Gabby and Shay are showing in the same division. Dust in my eyes. You don't want to get in your in your eyes? Denver, you better perk up. We're going to a show this weekend. It's actually gonna be a so super busy weekend for us, but we squeezed in a horse show. Sophie comes over and she's like, so I'd like you to get some footage of me on the ground, please. And also like, can you, yeah, with me on the ground, no, not her on the ground. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Take that back, take that back out of like, out of being said, you guys know what I meant. If I fall, I just hope that I don't cut my fingers open like I have before, but it's okay. So what I meant to say is that she wants me to put the camera on the ground. Now she wants me to be down, like instead of being up in the tower. That's where I fail normally. Anyways, Sophie says, so Sophie's telling me like, oh, I want this kind of video and I want you to do this. And could you put the camera down like on the ground so it can like get a picture of me jumping over? I really want that kind of footage. I'm like, wow, when did you become so high maintenance? We are home. Thank goodness Sam made a dinner for us. It's because, just we called him and told him to make it. Yeah, we called him and told him to make it. Anyway, uh, Sylvia and I bailed on the chicken laying her eggs, sit, hatching sitting, her eggs. hatching her eggs because she got overwhelmed with them and was like just taking care of the baby. She kept burying the eggs, which I understand, but then the eggs were cold every day. So we moved them inside. We moved the three little chickens that we have inside as well. So they are in this little pen now. They cry when I put them back because they think they're on their mom. Now you just woke them up. So yeah. Now. We transferred the eggs into our trusted incubator and we're just letting whatever happens happens and when is pipping. Okay. Sophie keeps dreaming that we're going to have more eggs. So I believe it you guys. I believe it. I believe we will have more eggs. And sometimes when I fall asleep thinking about something, I dream that they yeah. do not fall asleep thinking about them. Unless I don't think. Oh, well anyways, I believe, I believe that we'll have more eggs. So at least a couple are probably alive in there. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are